my dear friends welcome back to CSCR at home in this video we can discuss previous junior scientific assistant chemistry questions okay 2015 junior scientific assistant conducted by Kerala pollution control board so this is the first question question number 71 the volume of water in hydrosphere you know the answer what is the answer it is 1. Point, it is 1.386 billion kilometer per cube. Okay, 1.386 billion kilometer per cube. So here it is m that is milliliter. So in this case, the answer is 1. Point 3, 8 into 10 raised to 24 ml. Okay, so it is the answer 1.37 into 10 raised to 24. So if it is liter, what will be the answer? 1.38 into 10 raised to 21. Okay, so in some textbook, they are written as 1.4 billion kilometer so that is also correct so what is the answer here 1.38 so 1 point what is the answer here 1.37 1 1.38 and 1.4 is also correct understood question number 72 combustion of coal in power plant produced mainly dash which is a major pollutant of air which is the answer which is the answer? The answer is sulfur dioxide. Okay, sulfur dioxide. That is, sulfur dioxide is a colorless gas. Colorless, colorless with sulfur dioxide is a colorless gas with strong odor. Okay, strong odor. Sulfur dioxide. Primary source is combustion of coal, especially high sulfur coal. Okay, high sulfur coals. So that is the primary source of sulfur dioxide is from combustion of coal. Okay, high sulfur coals. Also from oils. Also from heating oils. Okay, also it is emitting from heating oils. Understood. That is the second question. That is 72. Question number 72. Question number 73. Taj Mahal is suffering from marble cancer. What is meant by marble cancer? Okay. Four options. You can read this one. Option A. Smoke filling the Taj Mahal from adjoining industries and depositing on marbles. Option B. Yellowing of marble on account of soot particles and Producing a mixture of calcium and carbon. Option C. Acid rain corrodes marble and produce calcium sulfate. Option D. Acid rain corrodes marble and produce sodium sulfate. Which is the answer? Answer is C. It produces calcium sulfate. Okay. The marble. Which is the component present in marble that is known as calcite. Okay. Calcite. Or we can call it as dolomite. Okay, we can call it as dolomite. Calcite or dolomite. So marble, these things are present. Calcite and dolomite. Acid rain. Acid rain contains sulfur dioxide. So it becomes sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Okay. The sulfuric acid react with calcite to produce calcium sulfate. Okay, that corrode marble. And it is known as marble cancer. Okay, marble cancer. That is question number 73. That cures, that cause marble cancer. Understood. 
Question number 74. What is Kyoto Protocol? So that we know. Okay. What it is? It is an agreement among countries to take steps for reducing global warming. So option A, global warming. Which are the six main greenhouse gases that we can study? First one, carbon dioxide. Second one, methane. Third one, nitrous oxide. Fourth one, hydrofluorocarbon. Okay, here. Hydrofluorocarbon. Fifth one, perfluorocarbon. Okay, perfluorocarbon. PFC. Okay, per fluorocarbons. Sixth one, sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur hexafluoride. These are the six greenhouse gases. Okay. Question number 75. India celebrates Vanamaholsa every year in the month of which month? Okay in which lakhs of trees are planted across the country. So the question is, Vana Maholsav is celebrated in which month? Answer is, first week of July. Okay, answer is, first week of July. Vana Maholsav is celebrated for, to create awareness. Awareness for, awareness for forest conservation and to save environment. So, it is celebrated in first week of July. First week. Okay, July first week. That means 1 to 7. Understood. Question number 76. Technological controls for particulates in industry include scrubbers, precipitates, filters. And option D, none of the above. Which is the answer? Filters. So this is known as back filtration. Okay. Back filtration. Question number 77. What percentage of total world production of carbon dioxide do the developed countries produce? Four options. Less than 10 percentage, about 25 percentage, about, six, uh, about 75 percentage and almost 100 percentage. Which is the answer? That is about 75 percentage is the answer. Okay. So that means developed countries contribute 75 percentage of carbon dioxide. That means 75 percentage of total world production of carbon dioxide. Understood? Question number 78. Which of the following statement regarding El Nino is not true? You need to, while reading the question, you need to take care. This question is about which is not true. Option A. We can check the options. Option A. It is an extension of equatorial current towards the western coast of South America. So, it is not an extension of equatorial current. Okay, that is the wrong one. Option B is also current. Okay, it's an occasional warm current leading to an increase about 10 degrees Celsius in subsurface water temperature. Then, option C, it develops a temporary replacement of usual Peruvian current. Okay, normally it is cold water. Okay, when El Nino occurs, it becomes warmer, warmer water. Okay. So, option C is also correct. Then, option D, it causes an increase in plankton driving in cold Peruvian current. So, when water becomes warm, what happens? All the nutrients, that means nitrate, all the nitrate, nutrient, nitrate and phosphate comes to top layer. So, that's for that the phytoplankton using this nitrate and phosphate. Okay, so the phytoplankton using this nitrate and the phosphorus. Okay, so D is also correct. So what is meant by El Nino? The El Nino means the unusual warming of subsurface water. Where in the in the eastern tropical Pacific. Okay. Pacific Ocean. Understood. 
and the wind push the warm water towards wind push warm water to where wind push warm water to western pacific ocean okay can you see this one pacific ocean wind push warm water to western pacific ocean where it borders where it borders the asia and australia Understood. This is about El Nino. Question number 79. The process of alleviation indicates four options. First one is removal of particles from upper layer of soil. Option B, removal of particles from lower layer of soil. Option C, transportation of soil particles in B horizon. D, deposition of soil particles in sub soil layer. What is the answer? The negative effect of, we can write here, the negative effect of soil compaction, compaction, soil compaction, soil compaction, that means the loss of soil quality, okay, is alleviated by subsoil. Okay, this one, the negative effect of soil compaction is alleviated by Alleviated by subsoil. So, answer is deposition of soil particles in subsoil layer. Okay, the process of alleviation indicates the deposition of soil particles in subsoil layer. Okay, question number 80. The independent variable in an experiment is, that means which is an independent variable. The variable you hope to observe in an experiment. Option B, the variable you change in an experiment. Option C, the variable that isn't changed in an experiment. D, none of these correct. For this examination, you need to study a little bit of stat. Okay, which is the answer? The variable you change in an experiment. That means the variable we manipulate in an experiment. That is the answer. So, dependable variable means, dependable variable means what it is? Dependent variable means the variable being tested, the variable being tested and measured in an experiment. Okay, that means dependent variable. The variable being tested and measured in an experiment. That is dependent variable. So, independent variable means the variable we change in an experiment. Example. Okay, that means example. Independent variable and dependent variable. So, we are using two drug for treatment. Drug A and drug B. Okay, for example, that means type of treatment. Type of treatment. Okay, we are using two different drugs for the treatment. The dependent variable, what will be? The change. The change in, for example, here, hormonal level. Okay. Depend upon the drug. That is depend. That is dependable variable. Understood. So independent variable in an experiment means the variable you change in an experiment. That means we can choose the drug. Okay. What is what we need? We need to monitor the level of hormones. So that is dependent variable. Understood. So, this is the chemistry part. The next class we can discuss the other 10 questions. Okay. If you like this class, please like and subscribe. Thank you.